Tunnel boring machines have transformed the construction landscape, making the excavation of tunnels for infrastructure projects faster, safer, and more precise. Whether it's for expanding transportation networks or installing vital utilities, these powerful machines are essential to modern underground development. At the heart of a TBM is a rotating cutter head that grinds through rock and soil, allowing it to tunnel through various geological formations with minimal disruption to the surface. This cutting-edge technology not only shortens construction timelines, but also supports the growth of urban areas by enabling efficient, large-scale subterranean work. As cities continue to grow, so does the demand for advanced, high-performance tunneling solutions. Manufacturers are now engineering TBMs that are faster, more powerful, and better suited to complex environments. With that in mind, let's explore the world's largest and most impressive tunnel boring machines. Bertha. Bertha is one of the largest tunnel boring machines ever constructed, featuring a massive cutter head with a diameter of 57.4 feet. Built by Hitachi Zosen in Japan, it was custom engineered for the Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Tunnel in Seattle, Washington. Measuring 325 feet in length and weighing over 6,000 tons, the machine was named after Seattle's first female mayor. Bertha began tunneling in 2013, but faced major setbacks due to mechanical failures, including a lengthy breakdown that stalled operations for more than two years. Nevertheless, the TBM completed its 1.6-mile journey beneath downtown Seattle in 2017. After finishing its mission, Bertha was dismantled and retired. Its enormous scale and engineering complexity represented a significant achievement in tunneling technology, highlighting both the possibilities and challenges of deploying mega-sized TBMs in dense urban areas. Tuen Munchek Lapcock The Tuen Munchek Lapcock Tunnel Boring Machine ranks among the largest TBMs ever built, developed specifically for Hong Kong's ambitious infrastructure project, connecting Tuen Moon with the Hong Kong International Airport. Built by Heronknecht, this colossal machine features a cutter head diameter of 57.7 feet, stretches approximately 393 feet in length, and weighs over 4,800 tons. It was custom designed to excavate a three-mile undersea tunnel beneath Ermston Road. Equipped with advanced systems for excavation, spoil removal, ventilation, and segment installation, the TBM was engineered to tackle complex geological conditions, including high water pressure and mixed ground. Its successful operation marked a major milestone in Hong Kong's engineering history, significantly enhancing connectivity between the New Territories and Lantau Island. The Yangtze River Crossing TBM, named Jianghai, is a marvel of modern tunneling engineering, purpose-built for the ultra-long Hai Tai Yangtze River Tunnel. Launched April 9, 2025, it wields an impressive 54.5 feet cutter head diameter, stretches about 476 feet nose to tail, and tips the scales at around 5,000 tons. This earth pressure balance shield is tasked with carving nearly six miles in a single continuous bore beneath the Yangtze River estuary, reaching depths up to 246 feet, where water pressure can peak at 0.75 megapascals. Designed for extreme conditions, Zhanghai is equipped with a pressure-balanced cutter head, dual slurry injection systems, and advanced monitoring technologies such as retractable cameras and real-time cutter head wear sensors. Its vast length accommodates integrated systems for spoil removal, segment erection, and ventilation. Operating under strict settlement control, the TBM enables the construction of a six-lane expressway tunnel designed for speeds up to 62 miles per hour. Zhanghai not only embodies China's engineering prowess in ultra-large TBMs, but also sets a new benchmark for deep, long-distance, high-speed under-river tunneling. The Qin Liangyu, officially designated Mixshield S880, is a monumental tunnel boring machine engineered by the German firm Herrenknecht. 
designed for operation in saturated earth and hard rock, it boasts a formidable power output of 5,600 kilowatts and an immense torque of 27,000 kilonewton meters, enabling it to tunnel up to 100 feet per day. Commissioned by Dragages Hong Kong, a subsidiary of Buig's Construction, the TBM was deployed for the construction of the subsea road tunnel connecting Chek Lap Kok and Tuen Moon in Hong Kong. With a colossal shield diameter of 57 feet 10 inches, a total length of 393 feet 8 inches, and a weight of 5,346 tons, the Qin Liang Yu holds the Guinness World Record as the world's largest tunnel boring machine. In 2015, it completed the first section of the tunnel, after which its shield was modified and reduced to 45 feet in diameter to complete the remaining stretch. It worked in tandem with another Heronknecht TBM at depths reaching 30 meters below sea level. Both machines successfully finished the twin tube tunnel in 2019, marking a major engineering achievement in undersea tunneling. Santa Lucia Heronknecht also produced Europe's largest tunnel boring machine for the construction of the Santa Lucia tunnel in Italy. Deployed by Pavimental, this closed shield TBM was instrumental in completing the five five-mile-long connector tunnel between Bologna and Florence. With tunneling work beginning in 2017 and completion in 2020, the project marked a milestone in European infrastructure development. The machine featured a massive cutter head diameter of 51.8 feet, an overall length of 426.5 feet and weighed approximately 5,000 tons. It was powered by an impressive 17,600 kilowatt system and had a maximum thrust capacity of 314,000 kilonewtons, enabling it to excavate efficiently through complex geological formations. Capable of extracting up to 2,100 tons of material per hour, the TBM was also equipped with advanced German-engineered safety systems designed to protect workers from hazardous conditions, including methane gas leaks. Martina Built by Heronknecht, Martina is the largest hard rock tunnel boring machine ever constructed, specifically designed for the Sparvo Tunnel, part of the Variante di Valico Highway project near Florence, Italy. Completed in 2013, this closed shield TBM was valued at $60 million and engineered to handle some of the toughest geological conditions in Europe. Martina features a cutter head diameter of 51 feet 3 inches, an overall length of 430 feet, and weighs approximately 4,500 tons. Equipped with tungsten steel cutting tools, it boasts an excavation area of 2,070 square feet, a thrust force of 39,485 tons, and a total installed capacity of 18 megawatts. Its massive energy demands amount to about 62 million kilowatt hours per year. Capable of tunneling up to 80 feet per day, Martina was deployed by the Italian construction firm Toto SPA Costruzioni Generali to construct the 1.5-mile Sparvo Tunnel. Martina's performance in this complex project showcased the power and precision of modern TBM technology, particularly in hard rock environments, and marked a major achievement in Italian and European tunneling history. Caucasus With an excavation diameter of 49.5 feet, the Caucasus holds the title of the world's largest single-shield hard rock tunnel boring machine. Manufactured by the China Railway Tunnel Group in China, this colossal machine measures 597 feet in length and weighs approximately 3,900 tons. It delivers a maximum thrust of 22,600 tons and is powered by a robust 9,900 kilowatts drive system. Deployed in 2019, the Caucasus TBM played a pivotal role in constructing a 5.6-mile-long tunnel through the rugged Caucasus Mountains in the nation of Georgia. The tunnel was part of a major infrastructure initiative to enhance connectivity across the region, linking Georgia with neighboring countries and facilitating trade and transportation through the mountainous terrain. 
Engineered to operate in the extreme conditions of high-altitude rock and geological pressure, the Caucasus TBM stands as a landmark in tunneling technology, showcasing the capability of single-shield machines in tackling massive, complex projects in some of the world's most challenging environments.